Hi, this is Sammy again. Here is a log question that a lot of students get stuck on. I'm gonna show you some shortcuts on how to change the basis and make them the same. And then later, if you're keen, you could watch how or what the details are of changing those bases to have the same base. Okay. So we have log base two, five, plus log base four, 36, plus log base half, 15. So what these have in common is we could all make all of these log base two. So the shortcuts plus this here, the four, I know it's two squared, 36 plus, and uh, when you have a base that is a fraction, the shortcut is to make that base the same as this one, make it two instead of a half, to change this sign. If it's a plus, you make it negative. If it's a, a negative, you make it plus. So you could just change this sign. And then that allows you to make the base two instead of a half, 15. So that's one, this is the first shortcut that if you have a base that's a, an ex, that's a fraction, you could change it to a non-fraction by changing the sign in front of that. How about here? You see this exponent right here. Let me just rewrite this. This exponent here, I just go one over that exponent, which becomes one half log base two, 36 minus log base two, 15. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is, this is gonna be log base two, five plus I'm gonna bring the exponent down to the 36 log base two, 36 to the power of one half and minus log base two, five. So far so good. Now this becomes log base two, five plus to the power of one half is the same as the square root. So this is the same as the square root of 36. So that becomes log base 2, 6, because the square root of 36 is 6 minus log base 2, 5, which in turn equals log base 2. Now I'm going to combine the logs since all of them have the same base and there's nothing in front of the log here. You know, like here you have something in front of the log, you won't be able to combine them until you get rid of that thing in front of the log. The log has to be free on the left, each one to be able to combine them. Now you could combine them, you get two, since these are added, you multiply the five and six. And since this is minus, you multiply, divide by, sorry, that's a 15 there, divide by the 15. And this equals log five times six is 30, 30 divided by 15 is two. So that becomes log base two, two, and log base two, two equals one. So that's the answer for that. Now, Let's look at the logic of how this came about. And if you want to know how this happened, let's first of all talk about the change of base, log base ax equals log x over log a. So what you could do, you could change log base ax from base a to log base 10, and you make that log x over log a, you're allowed to do this. So now let's take the log 36, base four, or log base four, 36. How did I, how I was able to change it from here to there? Okay, so now let's just change that into log 36 over log four. Let's change of base. Now I'm gonna change this into log base log 36 over log two to the power of two, which allows me now to change this to log 36 over, I could bring the exponent down in front of the log. So that two, I just brought it to the front. Now you see this here I could take it back 
to this. So going from here to there, so log base, log 36 divided by log two, I could just change it to log 236, which is this. And this two here is still underneath the fraction, so it goes right there. And that's what makes it one half log base 236. And that's how we got that. Okay. How about the second part of this? Can I erase this? It's the same kind of thing. Now, this here log 15 or log base half 15. I'm gonna do change of base again. So this becomes log 15 over log half, which in turn becomes log 15 over, I'm gonna change the half to two to the negative one because half is really two to the negative one. Um, and then it's gonna be a log 15 and I'm gonna bring the exponent down. So that's negative one log two. Now again, this part right here is this. So I'm just gonna go back and change it to that. So that becomes log base two fifteen, And that negative one is on the bottom, but on the bottom is the same divided by negative one, just get rid of that and make it negative right here. And that's what we did there. So you could go through all of that kind of work and get to there or just know that if it's the base is a fraction, change that sign and make that non-fraction by making it two. And here, if you wanna make that the same as this base, you know four, you could make it two to the power of two and know that two, you could make it one half in front of the whole log. And I think remembering that is better than going through all of that stuff because going through a lot of, going through all of that stuff was gonna take a little bit of time on the test. It's good to know, but on the test, as long as you do this, you're fine. Okay. As always, thanks again for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.